By learning more about your genome, you have taken a major step preparing yourself for the genome era. Today I am going to discuss the genetic group of people who live in Finland and Estonia. Although very similar, they are not 100% identical. As you can see, the two nations are close geographically. Finland's capital, Helsinki, is just across the water from Estonia's capital, Tallinn. When most people hear the word Finland, they probably think of blondes or Nokia phones or maybe reindeer, exotic clothing, and unusual languages. Finns and Estonians are Caucasian, not Mongols. They are not closely related to the Sami people, who are famous for herding reindeer. Both Finns and Estonians often have blonde hair, the highest percentage in the world. They have fair skin and gray or blue eyes. Most have long limbs and narrow faces, although the Karelia people tend to have short limbs and round faces. They speak languages in the Uralic language group. The main Y DNA markers are N1C, about 60% of Finns and 34% of Estonians have this type, I1, 30% of Finns and 15% of Estonians have it, and R1A and R1B, 6% of Finns and 32% of Estonians have this type. The main mitochondrial DNA markers are H at around 40% in both countries and U at 30% in Finland and about 25% in Estonia. Rare Y types are AM31, EM35, EV13, RM198, and E1B1B1. Rare mtDNA types include D, I, H, V, R, T, V, W, X, and Z. There are some important differences between Finns and Estonians. Finns tend to be genetically homogenous, which has led to valuable genetic studies on Parkinson's disease, asthma, heart disease, Marfan syndrome, kidney disease, and northern epilepsy, a genetic mutation on chromosome 8 that began to appear about 400 years ago. The Karelia people in particular are prone to the founder effect. Many Finns moved to Sweden in the late 1800s and early 1900s and comprise about 8% of Swedes. Finns tend to be farmers and have a mostly meat and dairy diet. The people of Estonia are more genetically diverse. Estonia has been invaded often. Invaders have included Romans, Vikings, Germans, and the USSR. Estonians have a very high hunter-gatherer population and like to boat and fish. The capital, Tallinn, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Most of the quaint barns are no longer used. Tallinn has a prestigious business college. Helsinki and Tallinn both share a latitude with Anchorage, Alaska but have a much milder climate because of the Gulf Stream. Humans arrived in the region around 10,000 years ago as the glaciers retreated at the end of the Ice Age. 18% of Finns are lactose intolerant compared to 80% of the world population. If you like this video, please subscribe and keep checking this channel to learn how to get the most out of your DNA test results. Thank you for watching.